Hello everyone, this is Rana Hussain, uh, and I'm going to introduce us this time. Uh, and this is this is my soul, soul partner, my dear friend, and uh, uh, Brandy Monk. And as you know, we've been together for a long time. Uh, there's lots of changes in both of our lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, StarQuest, my, my website and my company, has been functioning since 1996. Mm -hmm. And so there's changes there too. Uh, I can see uh, that a lot of the things that uh, were going on in the past have to be refined because we are moving into higher frequencies and into a new level of understanding. And so uh, it's time for changes in physically, mentally, emotionally, and also how we present ourselves and what we are going to be doing. And uh, I'm going to talk about some of the changes in my life with my business and so on. And then Randy will give you an update on what he's doing, how he's progressing. And uh, so uh, those of you who are familiar with our website, my website, Randy's website, on mine, you can see that things have kind of fallen apart lately, which is kind of appropriate because it is time for me to restructure and to move on. So uh, I now have people who have come into my life. Uh, I've just, uh, Vince and uh, Charlie is his wife, and I'm not gonna give you their last name. They will introduce themselves later. But uh, we are uh, creating a whole new website and it will be expanded. It will be, as you know, as in January, as of January, there will be no more monthly messages, you know, uh, emails, uh, because now, it will not be Archangel Michael who will be, he will be over lighting, but I am now connected with the 12th Dimensional Cosmic Council of Light. And uh, uh, we are now getting the information from this communication center, which is unified for everyone, not just an avatar for this, or information for this religion and so on. It is one of the thing, one of the facets of unity consciousness. And so I, uh, the website will uh, I will be posting there often or uh, like weekly, not not on a firm basis. It will be quite often. It will be uh, a different length and different subjects. We will be having classes. Uh, they will no longer be. Randy uh, is over the quest for mastery and those teachings. This will be a different group of teachings, which will be with uh, with uh, this uh, this other team. And so uh, I don't know exactly when it'll be up, but it will be soon. I have had several rites of passage over this last six months. I am getting, and we're calling it rite of passage just now instead of um, uh, initiations. The old way is initiation. This is just moving through the null zone, the negative things that are happening in our lives, preparing us to move forward into the higher frequency. We have to balance and harmonize come to terms with uh, with our emotional nature, bring it into harmony, and to be able to rise above what's going on so we do not send out this frenetic energy, the dis energies of discord. And so uh, we, we, like everyone else, have had our trials and tests and been going through things, but we can see the reason for them. We can understand them. I am getting such incredible information now. I am now getting what is called not just inspired thought, and it's not directly from Archangel Michael, it's the combination of the teachings of the 12, six dimensional city of light, uh, cosmic council of light, overlighted by Yeshua, Archangel Michael, and the Buddha. The Buddha is, is more or less the counterpart of Archangel, of, of, of what Yeshua, so the East and the West is combining, and all of those wonderful teachings of both of them. Everything has to blend and melt so that we are no longer uh, uh, on this side or that side, or uh, there's only one true teaching. And so that's what I want you to understand. There's lots going on in your life now, uh, and there's lots, there's more things coming, we know. It is a time of great change, and there are going to be more cataclysms. But they, it, it depends on us. Now we are the ones that the information is coming through. And so now it is time for you to begin to get the advanced teachings, to begin to open up your column of light, and to clear the static so that you can begin to get 
your inspired uh, an intellectual energy so you can begin to tap into that telepathic stream of cosmic energy, the cosmic library of wisdom, the uh, age of Aquarius divine blueprint. You, we are getting the energy of the Aquarian age through the archangels through our crown chakra and, to, uh, and that's the way it's distributed to humanity. Uh, that is resonating below the, the uh, mid-fourth dimension. But you know what? We also have three memory seed atoms stored within our root chakra. One is your Aquarian Age Divine Blueprint. The second is the adamantine particles to ignite that. And the third are those last tests that we need to go through. That's what Randy and I have been going through, clearing up those inner things that we need, ancient, ancient memories that I'm, you know, I'm, we're understanding what they are, so that we can begin now to get this energy from, we need to start tapping into the inner earth. We're gonna talk about Sandalfon. Randy's going to, we're gonna be teaching about how we are going to reach up to bring down the wonderful frequencies of the Father, Mother, God at, the, at that higher fifth and sixth dimensional level, but also we need to anchor with, with the core energy that's in, in, within the Divine Mother Earth, within this Earth Center. And so Randy is going to be teaching a lot of those new techniques, and we, we will be going forward for those who are ready, for those of you who are ready who have done the work so that you can move more quickly into that realm where you can gain all of your, your beautiful uh, uh, lessons, attributes, qualities, and virtues. And so uh, I'm excited. We, we are looking forward to uh, this new work. And uh, I'm, I am uh, so anxious and, and happy to be able to share it with you. And uh, so I'm going to turn it over to Randy now and let him tell you what's happening in his world. Not a lot happening in my world. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been a year of uh, some challenges. I had some uh, things I was dealing with earlier in the year where I uh, I go to the gym three times a week and uh, work out at home every day. But um, one, one time when I was at the gym earlier in the year, I jammed my leg and it ended up going into my entire leg and I couldn't walk. Um, and uh, I, I developed compassion for people. I, I ended up going to... to uh, urgent care or, or uh, the emergency room and ended up actually at one point in a hospital in the hospital and that ended up being a, having a stent put in so um, I uh, and that was because I had some when I was at the gym on the treadmill I had pressure in my chest I felt pressure and I and I thought I better get it checked out and even though I didn't feel like dealing with it <laughs> I did and uh, ended up getting a stent and uh, so anyway, I, uh, that's the first time I here. I'm 78 years old. First time I ever spent a night in a hospital, and uh, <laughs> lucky, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also with that leg thing, I was on crutches, and uh, I, I had pain for the first time like that in my life. You know, again at 78 years old, I never, I, I've, yeah, I've dealt with some pain here and there, but nothing like that, where I couldn't even walk on my leg. I was. Uh, pretty much incapacitated, and I, I've uh, d developed a source of compassion for people that deal with pain. It was difficult to meditate, and uh, anyway, and when you're going through things like that, you feel like, at least I did, I think, is this ever going to end? Am I ever going to be able to walk? And I was telling Rana just the other day, I was, simple thing, I was leaving the gym and walking out to my car, and I was just so grateful that I could walk, you know, just simple things like that. Welcome that we, to my world. <laughs> yeah, that, that we take for granted. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it's, I'm so grateful that I'm uh, physically able and uh, out there walking and uh, doing things again. Anyway, Randall Monk here, have information, will travel. So if you want to host me for a workshop or something like that in your home for a yes. small group of people, yes. Yes. reach out to me. Yes. So um, we will we will be talking we will be talking more and sharing more with you as time goes on, but it's time you know the future uh, is unfolding, 
And so we want you to join us, focus on what you want to happen, not what you're fearful. There's so much fearful stuff out there these days, negativity. They seem to be feeding, trying to weaken us and make, keep us in fear. But you know what? Even with all that we've gone through, we could see the reason for it and the good in it. And it opened us up the next level, like talking about everything being an inside job right now. Don't feel bad, you're not being beat up. It's not, it's not just karma, they're not punishing you. It's an opportunity for you to open up to your great potential. And we're there for you. And we love being with you. And we will see you again soon. Love and blessings. Much love from our hearts to yours. Bye for now. Bye-bye.